hair actually looks half decent for once, which is never. <laughs> um, hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming something that I have done on my channel before. Uh, I have made this video before, but it was probably around a year ago, I'd say, maybe less. But I kind of wanted to redo it just because um, I have a few new favourites, a few old favourites. I just kind of wanted to redo it. So this is my 10 out of 10 Masterpiece Vanillas. Now, I've only got 10 fragrances here, but I definitely could have made this list like a top 20. But I wanted to kind of make it like only the best of the best in my opinion. I don't want to ramble on. I'm just going to jump straight into it. So obviously, these fragrances all heavily feature... The star of the show is vanilla, which I am a big fan of vanilla fragrances, maybe a little bit less now. I am getting more into other fragrances like florals, more mature vintage fragrances. Um, I'm just starting to like a lot more than just gourmands. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to start off with my number 10. This is from Atelier Des Ors, and this is Lune Feline. I love the bottle. It has all gold flecks inside of the liquid. And when you like spray it onto your skin, not, a, not that it matters, but when you spray it onto your skin, it's all like glittery. Now, Lune Feline, I would say, is easily the most unique vanilla in this list. Definitely the most unique. Uh, this is definitely going to be an acquired one. I don't feel like everybody will like this. If you are searching and searching and searching for vanillas and you love the note, you're always looking for something more unique and different and special and you just you, you just want to, this fragrance is definitely worth checking out. Lune Feline to me has a little bit of a burnt, like a burning rubber sort of smell but not in a bad way um i have to be in the mood to wear this one 100 percent. i'm not gonna lie like i have to be in the mood the opening can be a little bit mm, for me and then the dry down is stunning it is beautiful vanilla but like i said it does have this kind of burning rubber smell and then it also has a bit of a citrusy orange kind of vibe to it as well but the dry down is the magic for me it's just beautiful so Lune Feline from Atelier Des Ors. if you're looking for a unique vanilla this is the one to go to so kind of going hand in hand with that this is a very not unique vanilla fragrance yet it is fantastic this is Magnificent Gold from Yves Saint Laurent I love this vanilla because like I said it's very simple it's probably one of the most likable vanillas in this list I don't hear many people talk about this one and I think it's a great vanilla fragrance it really reminds me of vanilla bean ice cream, like a gourmet Italian gelato place. And it's like the best vanilla ice cream you've ever had. Vanilla bean ice cream. <laughs> That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It has guyac wood, sandalwood, vanilla. It's smooth, creamy, 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 but it's not sickly sweet. It's not sickly sweet. It's got a beautiful kind of classy elegance to it, which I really love. So Magnificent Gold from Yves Saint Laurent reminds me of... Yeah, this one reminds me of vanilla bean ice cream, so definitely check it out if that appeals to you. Uh, but like I said, it's not it's not super unique, so don't think that you're getting some out-of-this-world fragrance. <laughs> Same with this one right here. This is Serge Breton's Umboivani. Again, not out of this world, but I can always rely on this vanilla. I always can rely on this one. If I want to smell good, I want to use vanilla, and I want it to last a long time and be pleasing to everyone around me, this is the vanilla that I go to. Umboivani. <laughs> it's kind of like a waxy, coconutty, woody vanilla fragrance. It's got a lot of woods in the base. It has vanilla, coconut, beeswax. Uh, it also has licorice. I don't really get the licorice too much in here. But to me, it's just a very standard vanilla. It doesn't smell uh, overly sweet whatsoever. It's not like a sugary, syrupy sort of thing. It's more of a mature vanilla with the beautiful woodiness and um, the coconut waxy vibe to it, which I really like. So Umbuavani from Serge Lutons. Like I said, it's not really unique. It's more just a reliable, good vanilla. So... I love it. <laughs> the next one that I have here is going to be surprising because I actually put this as like my number one last year. This is um, Tihota from Indol Paris. Now, the reason that I have kind of put this further back in the list is... To, uh, let's do that again. <laughs> the reason that I've put this further back in the list this year is because this is just kind of my personal taste. I'm putting them in order of how I like them. And Tihota, 
uh, for some reason I never really pull for. Like I'm not really sure why, even though it is definitely the best vanilla fragrance in here if you just want straight up vanilla. If you just want straight up vanilla, this is like the best of the best. This one is incredible if you want straight up, let me just say that again, straight up, you don't want any little twists and turns in there, you just want straight up vanilla, this is perfect. It's sweet, delicious vanilla clouds it's just incredible so tihota from indoor paris i love that one the two notes in there are vanilla and musk but it really just smells like straight up vanilla okay next one that i have is van cleef and arpels orchid vanille um i adore this fragrance so much it is a beautiful comforting not overly sweet vanilla fragrance i would say tihota is definitely like very 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 sweet Whereas um, Orchid Vanille is more on the mild side and I really love this one. To me, it kind of smells like a sponge cake, like a chocolatey vanilla sponge cake. It's just beautiful. I love this fragrance. The only thing that I say about this fragrance all the time is that the longevity is shit. Like it really is. Uh, but I don't really care because when I wear this fragrance, it's usually when I'm just kind of chilling. I want something warm and cozy. I'm in my sweats or I'm in a sweater like this or something like that. I never wear this one like out to an event or something like that where I need it to last. I'll just wear it in my in my own time. So Orchid Vanille from Van Cleef and Arpels. I love this vanilla. It's probably one of my most comforting fragrances. So that's why I love it. So we have a Guerlain, um, which is one of my favorite houses in the entire world, if not my favorite. Guerlain, I classify Guerlain as a designer. I don't know why people say designer or niche. It's up to you, who cares? I personally classify Guerlain as a designer and it's my favorite designer house easily. And then Chanel and then Christian Dior. Oh, that's so hard. I don't know. They're all like my top three. So Girl On, this is one from the Art and Materials collection, which is probably my favorite private collection from Girl On because a lot of the fragrances in that line use vanilla as the main note, which is one of my favorites. So the fragrance I have here is Spiritus du Um, Yeah, <laughs> beautiful, sexy, sexy, sexy vanilla. That's all I have to say. It's not... You know, it's not too sweet. It's not really cozy to me. It's like a sexy vanilla. It's spicy. It's boozy. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit kind of like there's a little bit of a pungent vibe to it. And I just love it so much. Spiritus Dulo Vanille to me is my sexy vanilla. When I want to smell sexy, but still wear something vanillic, I will go for Spiritus Dulo Vanille. So if you want a good boozy vanilla, this is, this is it. <laughs> we next have another fragrance from the House of Guerlain. This is from the exact same line. Um, and this one is Angelique Noir. Now, this is my personal preference, but I do believe that I love this one a little bit more. Angelique Noir to me is the most beautiful, expensive, expensive, <laughs> luxurious, classy, sophisticated, sensual vanilla that I've ever tried. I imagine a very, very rich, sexy woman wearing this fragrance on like a daytime date. It's just beautiful. This one had to grow on me. Let me tell you guys that. This one had to grow on me. I love Spiritus Du Levene straight away. This one was the one that I tried it and I was like, mm, like, I don't know how I feel about that because it has an Angelica note in the top, which can smell kind of, <laughs> kind of bitter and weird and green i do not really actually you know what i kind of am getting into green fragrances a bit so i'll take that back but uh angelica can smell kind of bitter and i really didn't like that in the opening but the dry down of this fragrance is incredible it's smooth it's sensual it's vanilla it's luxury it's absolute luxury and i just adore it and it's very very unique to me this doesn't smell like a basic girl vanilla this is your, your Hermes Birkin, like this is your Hermes Birkin vanilla. So I love this fragrance and yeah, it's definitely one of my personal favorite vanilla fragrances. So Angelique Noir from Guerlain, get on it, get on it. My number three may come to a surprise because uh, this is Carlisle from Parfum de Mali, my new favorite from the House of Parfum de Mali. I also am obsessed with the new Sedley, but that's another story. Carlisle actually doesn't even uh, feature vanilla, which is really odd because to me, I smell vanilla in this fragrance. 
yeah, like I really do smell a beautiful, smooth, subtle vanilla vibe to this fragrance, hence why I wanted to include it in this video because if you're a man, if you're a woman and you like smooth, creamy, a little bit spicy, there's definitely patchouli in this fragrance, but not a headache patchouli, not a you know, sharp patchouli, it's a very smooth patchouli, just adds like a little bit of a spiciness to it, which I love. When I'm thinking of wearing a vanilla, Carlisle comes to mind at the moment because I'm so obsessed with it. I will think of Carlisle, which is odd again, because it doesn't actually feature that as one of the notes, but to me, it does kind of um, sit in that category. It smells like a smooth, like I said, creamy, a little bit spicy, a little bit smoky vanilla scent, and I just love it. So Carlisle from Parfum de Mali, men, women, Men, women, absolutely everybody can wear it. My number two, you guys are going to hate me because this fragrance is actually discontinued. I do feel bad recommending it to you guys. Do not, and I repeat, do not go on the internet and pay some ridiculous price to get this fragrance because it's not worth like, you know, a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars or anything like that. So please don't, but this, like I said, is my list and I wanted to share with you guys my favorite. So, this fragrance right here is from Martin Mikulev and this is Vanille Orient and this is my second favorite vanilla ever. When I want just a straight up vanilla, this is one that I like to pull for when I want to feel a little bit sexy but still like vanilla. To me, this is a pretty sexy vanilla. It doesn't smell too edible, which it does a little bit, but it doesn't smell too cozy. It's got a little bit more of a sexy vibe to it, which I really really love, a little bit boozy. A few people have said that this reminds them of Spiritus du Blevene from Guerlain. Uh, I do see somewhat of a similarity, but this is sweeter. Uh, there's no pe like peppery spiciness to this fragrance. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's just talk about it. It is beautiful. It's vanilla, amber, musk, orchid, sandalwood. I just love this fragrance so much. And like I said, it is one that I like to pull for when I'm thinking of wearing a vanilla, like a straight up vanilla. I will go to this one. I also love layering this one with other fragrances. So just, just FYI. So Vanille Orient from Martin Mikulev. Unfortunately, they have discontinued a lot of their fragrances, a lot of their beautiful vanilla fragrances they have discontinued, which is a shame, but this is stunning. And if you could get it for a good price, definitely get it. My number one is a fragrance that I have talked about on my channel before. Um, and this is it right here. <laughs> this is Mazzolari Vaniglia. Now this is the fragrance that I said, hold on. This is the fragrance that I said reminds me of Tihota, which it definitely does. These two are definitely the sweetest in this list and they do remind me a lot of each other. But whenever I want like a straight up vanilla, I won't pull for Tihota, even though it does smell like straight up vanilla. I'll go to the Mazzolari. So that's why Mazzolari definitely has taken the cake. I don't know what it is about this fragrance, but it's just, yeah, it is just divine. This literally smells like food. This really does smell like vanilla, caramel, and orchid. It just smells like vanilla and caramel. So if you want something really complex or something that's gonna challenge your nose, Go for other fragrances, maybe get Loon Feline, but this is not gonna do that. This just literally smells like vanilla and caramel and it's delicious. I love mixing this with Angel Muse from Mugler because then you have the powdered Nutella mixed with the vanilla uh, caramel and it just smells so, so irresistible. This is a fragrance that I've told you guys I like to spray a little bit on my brasier, like my lingerie which I don't ever need to use, but um, I like to spray it on there and stuff like that. But this is just delicious. It literally smells edible. You can actually see there's a lot of uh, weight in this liquid. It's kind of like honey. This is my number one vanilla. When I just want to wear vanilla, I go to this fragrance. So that is Mazzolari's Vaniglia. So <laughs> that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my top 10 vanilla fragrances. I'm not sure, I feel like there was a lot of repeats uh, from this video in my last one, but there was definitely a few newcomers like Carlisle and Loon Feline. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.